Hey, they call me the Doom Wizard today, September 11th. I was in the hallway going to gym class where we saw the incident play out on broadcast television on a small TV in the corner of the hallway. I'm saying all of this today because somebody has to. Biden says climate change poses a greater threat than nuclear war. Speaking at a conference at Viet in Vietnam this weekend, we're going to be in real trouble if in the next decade or two, warming goes above 1.5 degrees Celsius. I was reminded recently that some people don't even know what a code red means, which is what we were issued in 2020. That's the highest level of alert. Emergency. Get out. I should say that again for the record. In fact, I've had one person come to my channel and tell me there's nothing about the IPCC that says we'll endure civilizational collapse, despite it also saying that we're in irreversible declines of Arctic sea ice, and that we have the president coming out forward here and saying, despite being a figurehead as he is, I'm certain he's briefed on virtually every climate science there is. I don't take him for a liar on this statement, you know what I'm saying, despite the other candidate. The global stock take was produced, which indicates how we're doing on the climate. Highest level of atmospheric greenhouse gases ever recorded, by the way. Side note, that's going on. So they call for radical changes to stem warming. Radical changes, Greta. Can you come to Akron, Ohio, which is where I currently am? Can you go speak to all the churches around here with their pickup trucks on Sundays? No, not just that. Everything. Tackling climate change needs a rapid transformation of the way our world works, travels, eats, and uses energy. This is the first global stock take to examine the efforts to, of countries to reduce planet warming emissions since the Paris Agreement in 2015. We need radical decarbonization, quote, with fast phase out of fossil fuels without carbon capture. Not to mention, they also say that renewable energy needs significant expansion and deforestation needs to be halted and reversed by 2030. In fact, they're not even advocating for carbon capture so much as they are to just simply phase out fossil fuels, meanwhile still emitting them, which we are not subtracting from the atmosphere. So with this evidence today, they're grossly misunderestimating the situation. There are many more facets to this interconnected woven system that my 1.2 thousand subscribers seem to grasp is that there will be layers of crises unfolding. I think from the same clueless moron said, um, well, he talked to doomers in the 90s that thought it would end soon, and, you know, so-and-so said in uh, 2008 or something that, that it would end soon. Um, but now we're reaching the tipping point, and, that, and relying on interactions in your past in different time periods with different levels of knowledge and data available, for instance, peer-reviewed literature being not the most up-to-date as it is today, is bordering extreme stupidity. You are unfortunately not graced with a higher intellect to be able to comprehend that relying on old data, old interactions, is not an indicator of future events. I can't put that much more Spock to you, but maybe logic and critical thinking will come to you before it's too late. Climate change is the greatest existential threat, and there I said it on camera to the internet. I'm just a nobody. There's nothing I can do to vote to change this. But I'm saying it. Enjoy your week, Doomers. I'll talk to you soon.